I'd like to introduce this little utility that I've written for the year 2010 to enable you to have multiple language versions of the same document. For example, let's just start in the Vizio drawing and go to the drop down the shape and let's zoom in on the shape. Let's say we put in a piece of text on the shape. Vizio is really quite superb. Now, not many of you may know this, but under the review tab there is this nifty little translate button and you can see that it has already translated this into Visio et vraiment super and there are quite a few languages you could take this translation from if you wanted to. Now that's great but I don't want to redo the diagram. I want to have the same diagram with the same shape. Okay so yes I could copy that if I wanted to but let's let's do it the useful way. Let's go to add-ins. Now I'm going to enable this document for multi-language text and we can see immediately that we've picked up the text that's in there. Down here let's choose French. See there's no translation at the moment. Now I could have copied and pasted from the review tab or I could invoke the Bing translation service, web service. Let's go to German and choose German and now we have this yo ist wirklich ganz herogrand. I don't know. I don't speak German very well and I speak Dutch even less. But it looks more intelligent to me. This yo is echt superb. That's great. Even Spanish I can do. Now that is really quite useful if you want to have these translations. It gets even better if you've got a large document. Let's go to one here which is a multi-page document and there is hyperlinks between the pages. You can see I can just drill down between these pages and moreover there are shapes on here which are new in Visio 2010 like for example the container shape and there's the callout shape and we can see that these shapes have all been labelled. Now I have prepared this document by having the alternative languages for each shape and for each page name already stored. So all I've got to do now is switch languages and there we go straight into Dutch. Switch language again. Let's go to say, French. There we go. We've got French. And notice that the page names have changed as well and the hyperlinks still work. So not only do I have the alternative language versions, I've got the hyperlinks working and I only have to edit the drawing once. Okay, so what if I want to translate it into a language that I haven't yet prepared? Well, first of all, I'm going to switch back to English so I can see where I've come from. because. Uh, Unfortunately, my French and Dutch isn't too great. Let's zoom in on this a little bit. So we can see this one is in English, and we can see the English text that's on there. I'm going to go down and add a language into my selection from the available languages that Visio supports. And let's say Hebrew. Do OK on that. So now I'm going to want to translate it into Hebrew. And if I click this switch here, automatically use the Bing translation service, it will attempt to translate all the text and all the page names into Hebrew for me when I do switch language. Okay, and I'm going to do this live. And I don't know how long this is going to take. Maybe it'll take a moment. Maybe it'll take less than a moment. But it's got two, three, four, five pages with all those shapes on it gone off to the web service and we can come back, I hope, with a translation. Ah, now not all languages are supported by the Bing translation service, but there are quite a few. So I think it's worth having a look at. It's obviously updated this page already. It's got a little bit to do. I can see the page names are still in English. I'm hoping that it will now look there. They're in Hebrew. So here we go. 
So that was zero manual intervention. Of course, I don't know if that Hebrew is correct or not. I would have to get someone who's fluent in Hebrew to tell me I've got this right. Maybe I should be re reading it from left to right or right to left. Now. I think that is really useful because we can now see that we have a document that we only have to maintain in one place. So who do we have to thank for that? Of course, be visual. So go to the website and you can find out more details about multi-language text window. Thank you.